Okay, I got an aquaponics update today. First of all, I wanted to kind of show you my plants. I had an iron deficiency and I got some chelated iron and added to the system and everything greened up pretty nicely. You can still see a little bit of yellow in the spines of the leaves. And the ones over there actually look better. They've pretty much all filled in. But everything was almost completely yellow. And uh, the uh, iron seemed to do the trick. That's how the plants are doing. Uh, you can see my lettuces and stuff over there seem to be doing good. Strawberries, they're not real huge, but they are growing. There's three, I think three or four out of the uh well, I got about seven that survived the others don't look like they're gonna do too well but I made some changes I got as you can see step back a little bit I got two barrels now okay the barrel over there which used to be the biofilter is now a swirl filter you can see the top pipe coming out of the IBC out of the fish tank going into the swirl filter and let me show you got the elbow down there that's coming in from the bottom of the tank and I've got the T with the uh, two elbows on it that's coming in off the top off the skimmer and then there's the outflow the outflow of this goes back into the biofilter and you can't really see it but I've got a there's a six I think it was a six inch cap PVC cap what I did is I drilled a hole in it and put a uh, bulkhead fitting through it ran three quarter three quarter inch pipe out the side and I notch the bottom of it so there's notches along the bottom and it sits flush on the bottom of the tank of the barrel and once that fish waste settles to the bottom I wish I had filmed this before I put it in there but but anyway once once it uh, everything settles to the bottom when I open that valve it'll draw it directly off the bottom of the tank so uh, anxious to see how the the biofilter works out. I also cleaned out the, uh, not the biofilter, the swirl filter, but I cleaned out the biofilter. I, uh, when I had it, everything apart, I uh, pulled all the, the rope material, and rinsed it real good. It really wasn't that dirty. There was some crud in there. Uh, there was a good bunch of crud in the bottom, and I rinsed all of that out. A lot of fish waste and uh, it nothing smelled which kind of struck me as strange but I assume that's because the bacteria is doing what it's supposed to be doing um, really don't smell any off smells at all so uh, everything seems to be doing good now I checked my uh, levels on everything this morning after getting the the new fish and everything's fine the pH was about 6.8 6.9 which is not bad um, the ammonia levels were all good not not really showing um, hardly anything so the added extra 20 fish have not uh, been a detriment to it I was afraid there was going to be maybe too much ammonia build up from the added fish but uh, I think the plants are taking everything up nicely and I've got a lot of uh, a lot of seeds coming up there's this there's the strawberry right there uh, that I planted in the grow bed I forgot to point that out that one seems to be doing better than the other ones in the NFT and I got some carrots over there um, some spinach starting to come up on the other side of the carrots and some lettuce over here 
And I can't remember if those are... Uh, they might be watermelon, I don't know. I threw something in there. No, they're probably cucumbers. I guess those are probably cucumbers. I don't know. We'll see. I just kind of went hog wild and planted a bunch of stuff. And you can see, I think there's some sunflowers coming up that I put in the system over there in between the cabbages and stuff. So anyway, the biofilter's doing good. And the swirl filter seems to be doing good. And I did have that pipe coming out there. I've got it plugged on the inside, so I needed to drill. Just from the way the piping was, I needed to drill another hole and put another bulkhead to, so I could do it the, the way I really wanted it. So anyway, we'll uh, give it a few weeks. I don't know how long it'll take to build up uh, waste in the bottom of the barrel and uh, you know, draw some off and put it on my plants or something. Um, the bottom of these barrels are not completely level. There's a kind of a indent on the bottom. So what I did is I took some sand and filled that part up so that it wouldn't have a little well for the fish waste to lay in. That way the fish waste will lay on top of the sand and all at kind of the same level. Um, just kind of a thought of a way to do that, you know, without having the flat bottom. So... Anyway, I just wanted to give a little update and show you the changes that I made, and everything's doing good. Let me go around here and get a maybe a video of the fish. Let's see. Let's see what you can see. Goldfish have gotten really big. one of the bluegill sitting was on top of the bucket there she can probably I can't it's hard for me to tell in the sc screen how good you can see the uh, the bluegill but hopefully you got a good shot of some of the bluegill down in there well getting a little long on this video so that's enough for now uh, I'll give you an update in, in a week or so take care and looking forward to any comments